he'd actually turned up at my house um, when my son had a meltdown. And this is the time when my son, to separate my son attacking me that day, my son had um, been put outside of the front room door and Julian was holding on to the front room door. Uh, Sean was standing at the kitchen door. I'm sitting now on the sofa. And then all of a sudden, Julian pulls the door open, lunges towards my son, comes back in, shuts the door and kind of smirks. And me and Sean look at each other like, what has he just done? From when he was doing those things, I started to get concerned about his actions because of the times that he was around, the, the, the things that he was doing. When he took me, that's the day he then took me away from my own home because he said it was bad for me. I needed a break away. I needed to get away, which I agree, yes, I need the respite, but it wasn't in that kind of way because when I got to his house, um, he, he chose a ridiculous time, like one o'clock in the morning, to go for a walk, which I don't mind, but it was the going into, I mean, I'm not sure if anyone sees where he lives, but at the back of the Rothschild fields, going in there, knowing that I have a complete fright for the middle of the night, and I'm saying to him, why would I need to, because he's saying to me, you've got to go through it, you've got to go through your fear, but no, Julian, I don't want to do it, and he's dragging me deeper and deeper into the field, deeper into the woods part at the back of the Rothschild's house, I'm holding onto his t-shirt, scared, and saying to him, I don't want to go into it. <laughs> That must be okay. I think Kate is getting a bit upset at the moment. So pass back to you, Joe. I'll get some water. 